Hi everyone, so I am currently on my YouTube community just writing down all of the names of anyone that said they might be interested in a student placement pack. So I'm going to make it fair and cut them all into little, little names and put them in a hat and pick two out because I've got two placement packs to give away and yeah I've only got two sorry and then I've got some extra ones that I'm going to put on Etsy and I'll share the link and stuff so you can have a look at them um, but yeah so I'm just going to cut these names up put them in a hat and pick one out at the end of this vlog so these student nursing placement packs that I've made are mainly aimed at adult nursing I'm really sorry for child mental health learning disability field I don't want to say yes be in it to win it or whatever because I've never worked in a mental health nursing setting or child nursing setting or learning disabilities nursing setting so these might be completely different to the area you work in because I know it's a completely different set of skill mix so I just want to say that these are mainly aimed at the adult nurses I'm sorry guys so these cards I've actually handmade myself I've done everything on my computer I've printed it out on card I've laminated every single one myself I have got somewhere my hole punch and hole punched every single one and then connected to a little retractable clip and I've got these in different colors I've got blue and I've got black for the two that I'm going to give away so in these placement packs I have put a little positive message on the front disclaimer as always I've got a section on documentation and how I structure my documentation how to write it and it's just going to really help for when you write your care notes so you, you don't have to keep asking your mentor oh what am I writing what am I doing what am I? you're going to look a lot more autonomous hopefully because you can just check your little pad and then write it I've got an admission section so when your patient comes to you what you should be doing on the admission to you everything you should be doing to get them admitted to your ward discharges so when they're ready to leave a whole list of everything that has to be done before they discharge from your services i've got the observation ranges i've got a little one on care planning and that's just how i was taught to write care plans i've got fluid intake and output and i've got the actual equation on how to work that out which i was taught recently and it's amazing um, BMI charting and also the manual equation to work out somebody's BMI using their height and weight without having to look at a chart because sometimes you'll get a patient come in and their weight is off the scale it's physically not on the scale there might be 160 kilograms it starts going all the way around and then you're like oh my god this isn't even on the BMI chart what am I going to do this equation is going to help you it's amazing I've got weight conversions as well because we do weights in kilograms and patients always say what's that in stones or pounds let me know so i've got the conversion from kilograms to stones on there so then when a patient asks you you're going to go actually i do know here you go it's roughly nine stone <laughs> i've got wound management so this is everything i do in my wound management and how i document it in the patient notes as well and then a little reference list where I've gone and found all of my references for everything I'm telling you. <laughs> so yeah, so that is what is in the little packs. And just take it around with your placement. There's also like a little thing on here so you can put your ID badge as well if you really wanted to, if you haven't got one. So I am going to cut these up and pull out two names and yeah, good luck. Also, if I pull out your name and you've seen this video and you think, actually, these are really rubbish, I don't want one, please tell me and I'll give it to somebody else. <laughs> Thank you. So I am just folding these up now, but I just wanted to show you that I've got different names on these. I've got, oh God. <laughs> I've got loads anyway, so I'm just folding them all up one by one. Okay, so I have got my Easter egg box. I knew there was a reason I kept this box. I've put everyone's names in there. I'm going to give them a shake. And then I'm going to pick two out. Are you ready? Laura Roberts has one. And the other one is, I just want you to see I'm not looking, I promise. So Nitsa, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I can't say this name. So Nitsa 
Semajiva. Sorry. I'm so I'm really bad at pronouncing names. But yes, you are the second one. Yes, well done. So yes, I have two placement packs for you too. If you give me a message somewhere on if you're on my Instagram, Twitter, or email me through my YouTube, let me know your details and I'll post them out to you. Thank you so, so much to everyone that commented. I am gonna put some on Etsy as well. I'll put the link below if you wanna have a look at those, but go out there, have a look, see what you think. Any suggestions, advice, feedback, anything like that, please, please, please let me know. And yeah, if you could share my link and stuff as well, if you think this these would be helpful for other students or they'd really help someone out, please, please, please share it among you, amongst your cohorts and Facebook groups and things like that. That would be a massive, massive help. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you again, as always, for tuning in, watching my channel, following my journey. I've got six months left. I know I keep going on about it. I'm so excited. We start university on Monday, but I'm going to do a separate vlog about that. So don't worry about it. For now, I shall see you all later. Have an amazing rest of the week and I'll see you all on Sunday for my normal vlog.